Waltrip High School is set to participate in the Sugar Bowl Parade next year in New Orleans. Really exciting, right? Well, HISD pulled the plug. They said New Orleans wasn't a safe destination. But then the district changed course and said the school could go. So what is the story now? ABC 13's Chaz Miller is live in the newsroom with an update to its story that we first told you yesterday on Eyewitness News. Yeah, Myra and Jonathan, I couldn't imagine being a high school kid with the opportunity to spend New Year's in New Orleans. Going to be a great time, right? Well, then it wasn't going to happen. Well, then it was. You heard all the back and forth right there. Well, even though the district has said yes, you all can march, parents still weren't sure they actually could. The good news is, is that we confirmed this afternoon they will be there. Talk about an emotional roller coaster. At the end of last year, the Walter Bram Band learned they were going to spend New Year's in New Orleans. Well, we were extremely excited. Um, this is the first time that the band's gone anywhere in a, quite a good amount of years. But last month, at a booster club meeting, the kids found out that wouldn't be happening. Sherry Chavez is the president of the band's booster club. She was told Orlando Riddick, the district's North Division superintendent, was the reason why the trip had been canceled. We were told that we were, uh, it was not a good idea for us to go to New Orleans because it was a dangerous place to go. The story made news this weekend. I asked Chavez why now if the decision was made last month. She said a dad decided he had had enough I and took it to the news. To them and he basically went straight over and talked with some friends and they said, let's do this story and let's help you guys out. And in the day since, Mayor Whitmire got involved, offering the services of HPD for the trip. The mayor is a Waltrip alum. Next, HISD uh, Superintendent Mike Miles issued a statement and, saying the kids you know, could go. He called it an amazing space. opportunity and uh, said HISD police would travel with the band. Schools, but here's the concern uh, Chavez had. She said the parade had already been notified the school would not be taking part. So would it even be possible to re-enter? We have not been told that information yet. Well, good news. We reached out to World Strides, who is facilitating the trip for the district. They said Waltrip will still be able to participate, adding, quote, we look forward to ensuring that Waltrip High School enjoys a safe and enriching experience in New Orleans for the Sugar Bowl Parade. So there you go. Now, I talked to the city of Houston earlier today. They said because HISD is sending their police department on the trip, HPD will no longer be sent. Another thing worth mentioning, I was told by Sherry that this trip would cost the school band around $80,000. She said there's still about $50,000 to go in their fundraising fundraising efforts. Live in the newsroom, I'm Chaz Miller, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.